Question 17. Write numbers in the boxes to make this calculation correct. Now the problem we've got here is that there are lots and lots of different answers to this question that are all correct. So let's just talk about some sort of strategy. We've well, got an equal sign in the middle. So whatever the answer to this calculation is here has got to equal, have the same answer to whatever this calculation is here. So that is going to affect what you put in. So the best thing to do here is just choose a number. So let's go for a nice easy number to deal with. Let's go for number 10. So if you put the number 10 in there, 50 take away 10 would make 40. So if the answer to that side is 40, the answer to this side would need to be 40. So something plus 10 would need to make 40. Well, what plus 10 makes 40? It's going to be 30, isn't it? So that is one possible set of answers. Let's just rub out those 40s and think about another possible set of answers. Well, if you put 20 in here, 50 take away 20 would now make it 30. So to make this 30, something plus 10 makes 30, you'd have to be 20 again. 20 plus 10 would make 30. So if you're going to put 20 in this side, 20 has to go in the right hand side as well. So whatever number you put in the left hand side, you then got to work out what the answer to that side is and use that answer to make the right hand side balance up. Let's do a couple more. Let's just pick a random number. Let's say 7. So 50 take away 7 on this side would then make the answer 50 take 7 would be 43. So we'd have to make this side balance on 43 as well. So something plus 10 would make 43. It would have to be 33, wouldn't it? 33 plus 10 makes 43. Let's do another one. So 50 take away 11. If you're doing 50 take away 11, 50 take 11 would be 39. So you would need this side to be 39 as well. So something plus 10 has got to make 39. Well, it's going to be 29, isn't it? 29 plus 10 makes 39. Now you can see already there are different answers, but whatever we choose in the left hand box, that is going to affect what we've got to put in the right hand box. Now you should begin to spot some sort of rule going on here. 10 plus 30 makes 40. 20 plus 20 makes 40. 7 plus 33 makes 40. 11 plus 29 makes 40. So you could put any numbers in here as long as when they are added together it makes 40. So just check that your two numbers added together makes 40, and if they do, you'll get it correct.